All right, YouTube, what's going on? It's High Tower 5000 here today, bringing you a Blood Runs Deep quest guide. There are multiple quest requirements for this quest. You must have level 75 attack, 75 strength, and level 65 slayer. Do note that none of these skills are boostable. You must have also claimed the reward for completing the easy, medium, and hard Fremenic province task diaries. Additionally, you will need it to have completed Dream Mentor, Glorious Memories, and Horror from the Deep. The items required for this quest are a rope, which can be obtained during the quest, weapons for all three combat styles. Please note, for melee, if you want to use your melee weapon during the final fight, then it will have to be of the style of slashing. For mage, you will require all four elemental spells, which include air, fire, water, and earth. There is no limitation on range weapons. You will also require a one-click fast teleport. The recommended items for this quest are food and prayer potions, which should be on you at all times. Additionally, it's recommended that you bring armor, which provides minimal penalties to ranged or magic. It can also be really useful if you bring along a dwarf multi-cannon because at one point during this quest we will have to defeat 50 Dagonoths at level 78. Do note that I would start with the dwarf multi-cannon because it will help speed up things at the start of the quest. Do note that there are multiple enemies to defeat during this quest. You need to kill at least 50 Dagonoths which will be level 78. You will also have to kill two Dagonoth Sentinels, which will be level 98, and then you'll also have to kill the Dagonoth Mother, which will be level 102. Finally, once you're ready, make your way to the location shown on screen, which is on Lunar Isle with Baba Yaga. Once you arrive at the quest start point, you want to go and enter inside the house. You then want to go ahead and speak with Baba Yaga. Select option number one, talk about the man in the bed. You will then get the quest prompt, go ahead and accept the quest. Select option number one, is there anything we can do? Select option number one, yes. Select option number one, an excellent idea. And that'll be the quest now started. You then want to go ahead and speak with Baba Yaga again to go to Dream World. Select option number one, talk about the man in the bed. Select option number one, I'm ready. And then you'll be teleported out to Dream World. Again, we're about to go into combat here, so be aware. Once you arrive in Dream World, Baba Yaga will then continue the dialogue. Select option number one, I've no idea. Select option number one, I think I've got it. And then you'll finish the dialogue. Just to your south, Silas is sitting at a desk. Go ahead and listen in. You'll then get some dialogue which you just want to continue. Then select option number one, he's crazy. You then want to go ahead and search the bookcase just to your north. From this bookcase you will get a Prophecy Tablet Brackets Lighthouse. You then want to read this by just left clicking on it. Once you've done that, just climb up the stairs. You then want to eavesdrop on Silas just to your north. Just continue through the dialogue. Go ahead and select option number one. She didn't count on us finding out. Just continue with the random dialogue that you get. Once you've come to the end of that dialogue, you just want to make your way to the west and enter into the tunnel. You then want to go ahead and speak with Silas. Select option number one, I'm a friend of your nephew. You will then, just to your west, see our lives, which you want to go ahead and read. 
You want to select option number one, what do you mean not working? Once you finish the dialogue, it's now combat time, so prepare to face multiple Dagonoths between four and seven at a time. Do know also some walrus-like creatures will appear. At this stage, you probably want to go ahead and activate your prayers and go into your preferred combat mode. There is Dagonoths on the tier to the west, which is slightly higher up, and also coming out the tunnel that you came out of just recently. This will continue on for five or so minutes. It depends how fast you can defeat all of the monsters that come at you. You sort of just have to tank this out. There's no fast way of doing it. If you do have your cannon with you, then you can go ahead and set it up if you'd like. After roughly five minutes of fighting, eventually Baba Yaga will then cut you out. You'll get a black screen and then you'll land up back in her house. Speak with her again. You then want to select option number one, talk about the man in the bed. Go ahead and select option number one, what is. You then want to select option number two, I'm ready, what's your trick? So for this next part of the quest, what is going to happen is you're going to be fighting more Dagonoths again. You want to go ahead and just sit in the middle of the market and Dagonoth should start to attack you. Again, this will run for a fixed period of time. If not, you can start fighting at Dagonoths until they're all dead. Also, if you have your cannon, go ahead and put it down. I recommend doing that in the center of the market. Fortunately, this time round, you do have some Fremenic warriors and market guards to help you out. However, honestly, they're really not much use. Roughly halfway through the fight, Bruns, the chieftain, will go ahead and interrupt and say that we need to kill more of them. Just continue on fighting. Bruns, the chieftain, will then interrupt again. He will then give another progress message, but just keep continuing on killing the Dagonoths. He will then eventually call you over to his boat. There should be an arrow on one of the piers, which you would just want to make your way over to. And then you want to go ahead and climb aboard his boat, as you can see on screen. You'll then go into a short cutscene and you'll then be on a boat. Go ahead and speak with Queen Sigrid. Select option number one, what's the matter, your majesty. Then select option number one, I'll set out right away. You will then be given a very important item in your inventory. This is a Balmung, which you will need to keep throughout the whole quest and for future quests in this quest line. You then want to go ahead and speak with Brunt, the chieftain, once again. And then select option number two, I'll go with you. You will then get a seal of passage in your inventory, which you can use to teleport. At this stage, if you still have your cannon, you can go ahead and bank this now. Also note, if you do not have any food or prayer potions, then you want to go ahead and fill your inventory up with them. Make sure you leave at least one free inventory slot. From where you are currently standing, you want to make your way over to the pier with Jarlvard, the westernmost pier, and you want to go ahead and travel to Waterbirth Island. Once you arrive in Waterbirth, make your way to the west of the island. You then want to go ahead and speak with Barder. Select option number one, what kind of voices? And then select option number one, could it be an old man echoing from underground? He will then give you a rope, but do note if you have one already, then you can go ahead and drop this as you only need one. You then want to head to the very southwestern tip of the island.
and there is a hole which you can go ahead and tie a rope to by the snape grass. Go ahead and do this and then climb down. Again, we are about to go into combat here, so be aware. Inside you will come across King Vargas. Go ahead and speak with him. Select option number one. We aren't out yet. Select option number one. Come on, this isn't the King Vargas I'm used to. Select option number one. No, I can imagine. Select option number one. Certainly, I've got some here. Note, I've sped this part up as it can vary for every player. You will then be teleported into a cave system. You now want to walk northeast, leading King Vargas down the path. Do note if you go too far away from him, you will escape without him and have to start over. If this is the case, you'll be brought back to the surface. You then want to just re-enter the hole at the southwestern tip of Waterbirth Island and repeat. Do note that King Vargas will move very, very slowly and while you move, you will be attacked. If appropriate, activate prayers. Eventually, you'll come across a ladder. With King Vargas beside you, you want to go ahead and climb down that ladder. King Vargas will then follow you down. At this stage, you want to go ahead and feed King Vargas whatever food you have in your inventory. This will help to keep him alive. You will have to do this at regular intervals, however, I will prompt you. You then want to start following the tunnel round down to your south. Again, make sure you keep in with sight and near to King Vargas. Again, you'll be under lots of combat, this time likely from rock lobsters and more Dagonoths. Again, activate prayers if required. Do note that for some reason King Vargas can actually get stuck on one of the torches. Make sure this doesn't happen like it did for me. You then want to continue through the chamber to the east. Eventually you will come across another ladder which you want to go ahead and climb up. You also want to go ahead and give King Vargas some more food. And then eventually some more Dagonoths will spawn in. At this stage you want to move along to your west. You then want to climb up the ladder and then continue to follow the path round to your northeast. And then you want to climb up the ladder just to your east. You then want to continue and follow the path to the northeast and there'll be another ladder. Which when you eventually get to you want to climb up. After a while, you will get into a cutscene. Go ahead and continue through the chat. Select option number one. Well, as quickly as you can, please. Select option number one. Don't touch anything. You will then be teleported back above the surface. At this stage, go ahead and turn off any prayers and eat some food. You're now in the Fremenic Spiritual Realm. Go ahead and speak to the girl in front of you. Select option number one, pardon. Select option number one, I'm not supposed to be here. Select option number one, can you at least explain where I am? And then select option number one, how do I get back then? You then want to go ahead and speak with Niall Swiftling. Select option number one, say nothing. 
Select option number one, the Dagonoths are mounting a massive attack on nearby settlements. Select option number one, it's nothing I can't handle. You then want to go ahead and speak with Asleaf. Select option number one, just passing through. Select option number one, you realise you're waiting for a huge battle. And then select option number one. I don't recall that working out so well last time. Go ahead and speak to ear again. Select option number one. Yes, please. You will then go into a short cutscene. You then want to go ahead and speak with Brunt the Chieftain. Select option number two, where am I? You then want to go ahead and speak with King Vargas. Select option number one, I'm always up for a challenge. Select option number one, I'd be honoured, your majesties. You then want to select option number two, make it up as I go along. You then want to continue through the dialogue, selecting any options until you get an option saying number two, cut to the chase. This will be about four or five options where you can choose anything. Once they kiss, you want to go ahead and speak with Princess Asterid. You can then select any option. Brunt will then begin speaking to you. Select option number two. Well, actually. Then select either option. Once again, select any option. Select option number one, Astrid. I mean Astrid. Once you've kissed Princess Astrid, you want to go ahead and speak with Brunt, the chieftain. Select option number two, actually, could you drop me off at the bank? Do note, if you were interrupted during the spiritual realm or on the longboat, Go ahead and speak with Brunt, who is located in the long hall in the centre of Relica. For this next part of the quest, we will be fighting the Dagonoth Sentinels and the Dagonoth Mother. Make sure for this next part of the quest, you have the appropriate food and potions. You also need to make sure you have in your inventory a one-click teleport, as you cannot leave the room while in combat. You will also require the two Prophecy Tablets the Seal of Passage, you will also require the Balmung, you're also going to require the three different combat types, that being melee, magic, which for magic you need water, earth, air and fire spells, and then a range type. Once you are ready, make your way to the location shown on screen, which is with Brunt the Chieftain in the long hall in the centre of Relica. Once you arrive, go ahead and speak with Brunt the Chieftain. Select option number two, ask about the war against the Daggermouths. Select option number one, yes, let's go now. Do note this is your final warning for combat. You'll then go into a cutscene with multiple boats. While on the boat, you want to go ahead and speak with Baba Yaga. Select option number one, say nothing.
select option number two. What do you think? Select option number one. Yes, I have. Select option number one. No, of course not. Select option number one. I'm ready. You will then arrive back on Waterbirth Island. Climb down the hole just to your north. You then want to go ahead and enter in it to the southern tunnel and then select option number one after the dialogue. That sounds reasonable. To your south in the next cave there are the two Dagonoth Sentinels which you want to go ahead and kill. Once you're ready, you want to go ahead and enter through the tunnel to your south. You will then get some dialogue. You then want to select option number one, good luck. You're now about to go ahead and fight the Dagonoth Sentinels, as you can see that I'm doing in the background. Do note that they are not simple to kill. They have some requirements. You need to go ahead and alternate attacks between the Dagonoths, keeping their health within approximately 500 life points of each other to prevent them from healing. Do note that there is a common glitch that prevents you from attacking the second sentinel. In this case, stand on top of the sentinel you cannot attack. This will prevent it from attacking or healing the first sentinel. Do note that there is a way around this quite easily if you are a high level player or you can deal a lot of damage fast with good equipment. You can just kill one sentinel and then the other as the rate that you kill them will be faster than they heal. Feel free to use whatever prayers you would like, there is no limitations. For myself, because I'm a reasonably high combat level and because I kept on getting the common glitch which prevents you from attacking the other sentinel, I went ahead and just killed one of them and stood in between them, then I killed the other. Once you've killed the two Dagonoths, continue south through the next tunnel. You now want to head southeast. For this, you will have to go ahead and climb over a obstruction, which you'll see me do. Then you'll have to enter through a tunnel entrance to get to the very southeast of the cave. You then want to proceed south and enter the next tunnel. Enter the room once you're ready. Dagonoff Mother will then start to speak to you. Select either option. You then want to start the battle with Balmung and kill the Dagonoff Mother, switching styles according to the colour. Do note before you start the fight, these colours would be very useful to remember, they're on screen now. White it stands for air spells, which includes smoke spells. Blue stands for water spells, which includes ice spells. Brown stands for earth spells, including shadow spells. Red stands for fire spells, including blood spells. Orange stands for melee attacks with Balmung or any slashing weapon. Green stands for ranged attacks, officially weak to throne. Finally, once you kill the Dagonoth Mother, head back into the room to your north. You will then come across a pickaxe and a plank. You want to go ahead and pick both these items up. Just to your north, you want to go ahead and collapse the pillar. and then you will be teleported back out to the Fremenic Realm. Go ahead and speak with Er. 
Select option number one, excellence. Select option number two, I'll live. Select option number one, yes, I am. You then want to go ahead and check the bodies of Princess Astrid. Select any option. You then want to go ahead and talk to Baba Yaga. Select option number two. I'm sure you did everything you could. You then want to go ahead and attempt to climb up the rope. You will then land up on the ship with Brunton the Chief. Go ahead and select option number two, dead, all of them. Select option number one, he's right, we've won. You will then get into a cutscene and that is the quest complete. Congratulations, you've completed Blood Runs Deep. You're awarded with two quest points. Balmung, which I would highly recommend keeping as you will need this for future quests. Access to Dagonoth Guardians, Dagonoth Mother and her Sentinels in the Dominion Tower. Speak to Brunts the Chieftain to receive 3 lots of 150,000 XP in combat skills, which I'll show you how to do shortly, along with 2 Treasure Hunter keys. Thanks very much for watching this quest guide, please leave a like, rate and subscribe if you are new around here. Go down into that description below and check out my various other quest playlists, where I'm sure I'll be able to help you out with another quest. If you do want to go ahead and claim your reward with Brunton the Chief, go ahead and speak to him and select option number two, ask about the war against the Dagger Mouths. You will then be able to go ahead and choose which skills you'd like to improve. Do note that this will grant you combat experience. You then want to repeat this three times over. And that is all for this video, ladies and gentlemen. So thanks very much for watching. My name is Hightower5000 and I'm out.